Now they did, all of them said the three phases that I've all been agreeing. Uh, elongation is just, that's when you're making the protein. You're just making the protein. It's elongating, growing out of the ribosome, getting longer and longer and longer as amino acid after amino acid added to it. Um, you still do five, on, the, on this is five to three, but you bring them in though, the five in bumps in, five, that's, that's the point, remember, of the house root? So the old one's here, the new one comes in, bop, amino acid is given off, new one, bop, and the five prime in is coming in every time. So that's all the same. Um, these elongation factors is what you find. You know, you know, ATP is energy, right? But but so is um, guanosine. So the energy to make it happen on this thing is from GTP. And you tear off the phosphorus. You saw them do that on the screen. Tear off the phosphorus. There's your energy that a ribosome uses to put the acid together. Now, A site, it attaches the acid, it moves across. See, it's attached in the A site, and it moves across to the polypeptide site already attached. Well, now the A site is empty for another transfer to come in. And when you tear off the phosphorus, you produce the energy required to make the bond between the two acids. Um, it's still dehydration. You know, you remove water to make things stick together. That's still happening here too. Still happening there too. Um, if you look here carefully now, when it gets to the P site, it already has a new acid. It's not joined the P site. A site comes in, the P site gives them the acid, P, the thing falls away, moves to the P site, but the acid attached, new one comes in, transfers it over. So your transfer happens from P to A, A moves across, and again P to A, A moves across, and the new ones come in from the A side, and then when you give off the acid, you exit from the E side. But the actual transfer happens in the A slot. In the A slot, you receive that chain and you slide sideways, and then you give that chain to your next one coming in, he slides sideways, and then that gives the chain to the next one, and that's the elongation as you keep handing off acids, it gets longer and longer and longer. Okay, and I'll say it again now. The bonding doesn't happen in the P site. The actual polypeptide bond between the two acids happens in the A site. When that, when that tRNA travels across the P site, he has a chain off of him already. He came in one, and all the others are passed to him in the A site. He travels across with a whole chain, and then he'll, he'll release them to the next A. He falls away. It's a step-by-step -step process. What is guanosine made of? Huh? What is guanosine made of? Again? What is it made of? Oh, you mean the, the chemical? Yeah. It's a nucleo. It's, it's a nucleotide, like guanine. It's akin to guanine. All you need is something to hold these phosphorus. Sometimes, you know, adenine. That's that's the A of that's the A we're talking about all the time. A and T. That's adenine. That's that's ATP. Guanine. I don't know if that's a CTP. But it's guanine you're looking at there. And we don't care about the guanine. It's the phosphorus that I can tear off that gives me the energy that I need to make that bond. Now, if you're AD, if you're GDP, you got nothing. If you're, if you're GTP, I got something, I got energy to because you remove my third phosphate, I can get down. If I'm already gone, I can't do any more. I'm, I'm dead. And then these two leave because we got into a cell and the mitochondrion well, is making energy. Is it sugar or something? Or what is it? It's a new, it, no, it's a nucleic, nucleic acid. Just like ATP is a nucleic acid also. Okay. All right. 
Now here's the picture that I found that kind of shows it happened. Um, this is your growing peptide. Now, when he falls in here, I got one behind it. When he falls in here and stands upright, then this is transferred to him while he's still in the A site. So at that point, this sucker is empty. As it shifts down, he moves here. Well, this one, of course, goes away. He moves here. He now has all these things attached. He moves there, and a brand new one comes in and lands. And then the whole rigmarole is passed to him. So he'll come in empty. He'll come in with one, and quickly the whole line is transferred to the A site, and he'll have a bunch of them. Then he travels to here, the peptide, because that's peptide. And then when this passes over he's empty he goes to the east side and next thing you know he falls away because he's he spit out um so this is your acceptor site the amino site what you want to call it but the new ones land in here now this thing is going this way or this is going that way it might be a combination of both okay so if this is the five end, and that's the three end to make it work, that's the three end with the fives hooking into it, making that the five end. So I got, I got, th I got three going to five. No, I got five going to three. I got three going to five. Because remember, three must be the one I have first to add my five to it, and that's why it only goes. In that direction, it can't go this way. I'd be hooking threes to fives, and you can't do that. So one more time, it all starts here first, and the very first one enters there is is met. He starts whole thing met. So this out here, that might be met. Now, if this thing is alanine, met's going to go away. If he's lysine, met stays. Remember. So this first one, he might still be met at this place. But the first one in here is the one that's carrying the met acid. And he'll fall here with one. The next one comes in, might be alanine. And met's passed to alanine. They have two of them. And he'll pass across here with his two. New one comes in, these two pass. Now there's three. Three go over here. A new comes in, three is passed. Now there's four. Four goes across. A new comes in, four is passed, now there's five. Is that work? Just down it goes. Here's another picture of it, it's showing the same thing. This one is showing two sides. Two sides. And on this one, it's showing the same thing happening. This, it even said met. It's starting to show. And there's your AUG. So, CCA corresponds to GGU. He'll land right there. But while he's sitting there, these two will be passed to him. While he's sitting there, he'll transfer across. Now he has three. A new one comes in. These three are passed to him. While he's sitting here, that one, of course, falls away and goes out to find him another passage. And again, there's your five and there's your three on the messenger. That means this is going to be three and five as it's built. <clears throat> now, it goes on and on and on and on until all the transfer RNAs needed have arrived. Now, the bonds between these are called polypeptide, uh, are proteins in polypeptide. Polypeptide. And the bonds are called poly. They're hydrogen bonds. But we have a name for them, polypeptide. Alright? Now, it comes a time you gotta stop it. And that we're, we're, you, know, you can't have a run on the acid, you gotta stop it. And there is a, that word is nascent. Nascent means a non coding, it doesn't have any meaning at all. That's your release factor you saw over and over again. That's a nascent protein. 
Okay? Now, there are three codes that will stop it. You saw this one a lot. Well, this will, this will do it, and this will do all three of these codes. Nothing, nothing comes in, and when you have the open space, then the ribosome releases the protein. All three of them are called release, and I don't know which one is used more often than the others. All three of them, where they all start with thymine or uracil. And they all have A in them. I think it's UGA. I remember that. I got given to Georgia. I don't know what these could be. You go to Alabama, Alabama? You go to Alabama, Alabama? University of Alabama, Athens, Georgia. University of Athens. Oh, University. That's only, I need three letters. University of Athens, Georgia. Okay. <laughs> You can make your little, your little remembering tool by making up university names. Just don't forget what they were. Alright? Now when these things come along, the protein's released. And that is over. That protein is destined to be used by yourself. Now, that messenger, when he's finished, what happens to him? He can be used again. And again. He's not destroyed in the process. He's like, he's like an enzyme. He can be used over and over and over. So you don't need to make it every time you want it. You, you can make, if you, if you need 10 proteins, one of them can do all 10 of them, just one after another. Now, they also can go back to the nucleus. And there they can be broken down and used to make another messenger. But you can you can like take a the puzzle apart. You can, you can take it apart. Good, I finished. I went to. I do my two tests on, on Wednesday. I was going to say Monday, but Wednesday. 